Hi guys, girls, boys. I am uh, Lennart. I'm a Swede uh, living in uh, Malmö, Sweden. I've been uh, riding dirt bike um, for 22 years and uh, I have uh, been having a motor on two wheels for more than 50 years. So I had a little bit of know-how about to ride a dirt bike or ride bike, uh, motorcycle and all that kind of thing. Um, I have a YouTube channel uh, called Lennart Hansen and I've been doing uh, small videos, uh, medium long videos for the past eight years and I really like to do that. I have more than um, 500 uh, something videos on the YouTube channel which is really great. Um, I have been uh, using one GoPro Hero 2 for so many times that the uh, uh, cable connection was um, damaged so I have to buy a new one. I have the Hero 4 Silver Edition now. And I also uh, is a member on the Facebook family um, and I have a channel on the Facebook called Endurut and I will show you in in the end of the video. Um, I've been riding a uh, dirt bike and I've been riding Yamaha for many years and um, I really was so happy when uh, I could see that uh, to 2015 Yamaha was making a WR 254 stroke and there was also a Y Seta 250FX but the thing is that that um, I wanted to have a new dirt bike I had a YC254 stroke with a motocrosser and it's very difficult to, to ride uh, in the woods and up on the hills and down in the valleys and uh, in mud condition with a, with a motocrosser because there is uh, not the wide ratio gearbox and all that kind of thing you have on the, on the uh, off-road enduro uh, bike like that. So uh, I bought a WR um, but I could see that the bike was very heavy. Uh, if you take a Sherco 250 four stroke, we have something with fuel inside and all the liquids inside the motorbike that was 110 kilos. So, um, why should Yamaha have a bike that is so heavy that 118 kilos? So I did a massage, a really good massage in my garage. The first, first thing I did was taking away the, the speedometer, the multi-instrument with all the cables, all the screws, the nuts, the washer, all that kind of thing, including the horn, because I could feel that all this thing in front of the bike was making the bike very heavy in the front. That was the first thing. The other thing was I I really don't need a kickstand. Why should I have a kickstand? Uh, it's a fuel injected uh, motorcycle. If I just lay it on the ground, not, no no uh, fuel will leak out in 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 the ground. So that's no problem. I I really don't need it. So I took off the kickstands and I bought a new holder for the left foot peg. I took the holder from the YC-F, the 250 uh, motocrosser, because it's not so heavy. I don't need the kickstart because I have the electric start and Husqvarna and KTM don't have any kickstart on the four-stroke bike. So I took it off and I also took the parts behind the cover the 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 gears and all that kind of thing for the kickstart i took it off the bike and plug it the hole i plug it with a plastic plug very very good um i changed the battery 
uh, the battery was uh, something like 2090 gram and I bought a new one a lithium battery which is only 509 gram so it's a lot of a lot of weight that I was uh, taking away I took off the uh, uh, the silencer and I bought a new one uh, I bought an arrow silencer and that was something like 1200 grams <laughs> so you can see there is a lot of parts I don't need the uh, cover for the rare brake disc it's just plastic and uh, if you hit the stone or something like that it will be destroyed so I took it away including the screws and there is also a plastic cover outside the uh, back caliper I took that away including the screws um, and I took off the fan because I don't need any fan uh, and all the cables and all that kind of thing I changed the uh, the handlebar to a uh, rental uh, 999 because I feel that I with my hide from the ground my body uh, will fall a little bit, a bit more forward so I have more pressure on the front wheel which is um, pretty good when you are riding a uh, riding dirt bike I'm not a trail rider uh, I'm not an off-road rider I don't uh, use uh, uh, sand roads and all that kind of thing I'm riding Swedish enduro which is in the forest uh, sometimes it's very very muddy and uh, sometimes it's very dry a lot of stones and a lot of roots and water and all that kind of thing uphill and downhill and I like to do uh, good races uh, with a lot of friends and so I really enjoy that but the main thing was that if you stuck in a deep hole with mud or all that kind of thing and you should lift it up you know from 180 kilograms down to 107.5 it's a lot of kilos and 10 kilos to lift more or less is uh, is a little bit and i can feel the bike is much more lighter very much more lighter um so um there's a lot of thing maybe there is something more i have ordered i have a, a new plastic kit from cycra which should give uh, the uh, engine more uh, cooling air and the plastic kit is a little bit uh, lighter than the original plastic kit just to, talking about some hundred grams or something like that so together with all these parts uh, I am now down to like I said 107.5 um, there is a heater um, plate on the left and on the right side uh, for the boots uh, I took off the right one <laughs> I don't need it because my foot are not there and the left one I made a little bit uh, smaller and I also drilled some hole in it so uh, I, I like to have a very light dirt bike um, I, I can feel that this is a brand new bike uh, from the first time I, I took it out of the box to uh, have it now the next bike gonna be uh, FX YZ FX um, the thing was that that this wasn't available when I bought my VR but uh, it's available now in, in Sweden so next bike will be the FX bike a little bit more race ready in the box um, so uh, hopefully it's gonna be that um yes uh, take care ride like the speed of light and uh, look at my videos on on the youtube channel and uh, you can also check on on the facebook uh, channel uh, the enduro rotan uh, which i'm gonna give you a, a small hint 
when I'm I'm turning the uh, camera to to uh, the laptop here. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Ciao ciao. Bye bye. From Sweden. This is the Enduro Return. This is my VR. And um, normally I'm I'm writing in in Swedish. Could be that I will be writing in English too. So uh, have a good day. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.